All right, so uh, we have here Nelson, Yo, you know, you from Boynton Beach, local, native. Uh, this is my first ever tacos and track, so we got some fucking tacos from La Condesa, which is in Boca, uh, right by like the airport. Uh, we got some, you know, we're vibing, we're chilling. I'm just gonna ask a few questions, we're chilling, you know, and uh, before we get started though, um, I'm gonna pull the Nardo a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna have this great product here. Uh, it's called CBD Green Heart. Uh, you can check the website, cbdgreenheart.com, as well as their Instagram. You know, they're also a local, local business, you know, support, you know, it's for anybody, really. It's for all ages. It helps, you know, like this specifically is body therapy. So it's like this oil that helps, you know, soothe your muscles, your bones. You can check all that information online as well. Trust me, I have one myself and it's like phenomenal. I used to go to Bath and Body Works for that shit. Now I go to CBD Green Heart. So this is for you, sir. Um, you can use it for, you know, your family, for yourself, you know, to sleep better, you know, to reduce yeah, anxiety. Myself, you're crazy. So <laughs> I use it for myself. My neck be tense sometimes. Um, but yeah, that's for you, sir. Uh, you know, for your, for your family, for yourself, for significant others, baby mamas you got. I don't know how many you have now. I, 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 don't know. <laughs> I can't do that. <laughs> now with this economy. <laughs> it was, the economy's still. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we'll resume now. So uh, basically, we're just going to ask a couple questions, you know, and just get to really know who's Nelson. You know, I know Nelson since like, what's it, eight grade? Probably younger type shit, just middle school type yeah. shit. You know, we were like jits, you know what I'm saying? Um, and then now we're all grown as fuck with the dull lives and stress and depression. Um, but he's a photographer. How long have you been doing photography, man? I would say like, I I've been doing it for like a year and some change now. Yeah. You know? A year and some change. What led you to, to be a photographer? Is there anything that inspired you? Or you just like, you know what? We'll go one day, I'm gonna do it. Mm, I wanna say I've been taking pictures and flicking up like my whole life for real. But I never made yeah. a lot about it for real. And then like one day, I just, I wanna say I just picked, wanted to pick it up, you know? Yeah? Yeah. I just, I did that, I, I, I got inspired one day. But a lot of people like on Instagram, like, I wanna say like, JG flipped me up. Like, a, um, I wanna say like a whole lot of people. Mm -hmm. But like, I wanna say JG flipped me up, individuals. Cool. There's a lot of people, I ain't gonna count. But those two on the top of my head, them boys, they've been, they've been grinding. Right? Yeah. I remember in high school, you had used to have a camera too, right? In high school or no? No, but I used to flip up every day. I always saw you with the camera. Oh, my phone. Oh, my phone. Oh, shit. My phone. <laughs> shit. I keep it on you though. No, true. I keep it on you. True. So what is, do you have any like goals, 2024, we're in January, do you have any goals that you want to like accomplish this year or when you get to or what you want to do this I'm year? I say, I really want to just, I want to be versatile, I want to catch everything. Oh me. yeah? Like yeah. what? I definitely want to start music videos for real. Mm -hmm. like, I already started, but I just got a new camera. Mm -hmm. It's a Sony right here, Mark II, it was A72. So it do everything I needed to do, so I really just got to Put myself out there for real. Yeah. Um, that's dope, man. Um, <clears throat> do you think you're gonna have any challenges editing and stuff like that when it comes to music videos, or you think you already have sort of like your own? No, I really, I figured out tips and tricks, but really is just starting and getting more exposure and just trying to like really doing more videos to learn. Right now, I'm really starting, so I don't know as much, but mm -hmm. it's not. I, I think as long as you just keep putting your head into it, you can do it. I pretty much how you do that for vibes. Yeah. Well, I'm, you know, I'm excited to see, you know, music videos, you know, especially from a local person, you know, like, you know, support the local people, local talent. I've seen so many people hate because they're local, you know, because they're from the same city, you know. So let's say somebody just looked at your Instagram, look at the portfolio, saw the pictures of me, because, you know, I'm a bad bitch, but... <laughs> <laughs> Um, what's the f like farthest, furthest? What's the furthest that you can travel or someone can travel to take a photo? Like, have you ever been? Mm. Was like, what's the limit? Like, West Palm to like Boca or like you not going to type shit? I went to Miami. I ain't gonna lie. I went to Miami, but Miami's like 
I'd rather go to Miami than Port St. Lucie, but I'll go to Port St. Lucie though. Damn, that's so dedicated. That's, that's if they pay me the bread. <laughs> if they pay me the bread. Alright, all right. I'm gonna put in the work too though. It's like, yeah. Shit, I'll make everything worth it to be honest. I mean, I ain't gonna lie. A lot of people tell me like I just bring their vision to life. So shit. As long as I could do that, mm -hmm. I'm gonna keep going. Yeah. Facts. Man, that's crazy. Miami to Port St. Lucie. You hear it out? Miami to Port St. Lucie. You can live anywhere in Palm Beach County, Broward, Miami Dade, you know where to find this man. You know, but like, mostly down south, bro. <laughs> yeah, nah, like. But Port St. Lucie has been developing a lot, though. I've seen a lot of new homes and a lot of, like, it's been growing, it's a growing community, but. Um, My boy got a studio out there, so, you know. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. What's your, what's your favorite part of, like, photography? Is it, like, taking the photos, the editing part? Like, what's, what's your favorite I want to say the shoot. The shoot basically like the shoot always always like a good experience, especially like now I got a new camera so I can really enjoy it more. Mm -hmm. So I really like I'll say the shoot the shoot be exciting. Then when I get home to edit, that'd be exciting too. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. So like every little piece of it is just yeah, it's, it's the whole process for real. I ain't gonna cut. You never got like tired of like, damn I gotta edit these twenty photos at three in the morning. Like, I gotta go to work at five. That's why you just you just set yourself a you tell these people like a day time, right. and then you know you you pace yourself. As long as you pace yourself and you don't slack through the whole way, I think you'll be straight. How do you what like form of communication do you prefer when somebody wants to book? Like do text message, do DM, Instagram, or to be honest, any way to contact me because as soon as you contact me, I'm gonna just set it up the way I wanted to after that. Yeah. As long as you can contact me, I'm just pretty happy you contact me. That's it. True, true. Yeah, I mean, you know, I hit you up for the photo shoot we took at Boyne and Seacrest. It was the first time we, we took photos and it was a vibe for me, you know? We were just chilling. We were just chilling. It was vibing. It didn't even feel like intimidating, you know, being in front of the Because I get a little nervous sometimes in front of the camera, but... Man, it was just a vibe. It was just like right now we're just chilling. You know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to make it easy for people. I ain't gonna count. Yeah, facts, man. That's that's dope. You know, uh, that's crazy. So do you? Um, how busy is your schedule though? Like, if somebody like, have you ever gotten like, overbooked or anything? Where you're like, um, not currently. I don't really be overbooked, but. I, w I do work overnight right now, mm -hmm. but I usually set something up. That, as long as you make an appointment, mm -hmm. I'm going to make it. It don't matter what. As long as you set it and we have a good day, I'm not I'm not going over. We're not rescheduling. Yeah. Days. You have to reschedule. Right. But I usually, I'm on it. Yeah. That's dope. Yeah. Not for sure. Um, even like the photos that, you know, that he took, uh, I use it, you, know, you can see it on my YouTube page and my Spotify, everything, you know, I'm, I'm completely satisfied, you know, and I'm, I'm even people that locally that I know, like, uh, one of the producers in, in my album, uh, you know, as Retro Dying or, you know, him as Romario, yeah, I, I he's the homie too, too. I took, you see, he's the homie too, you know, you see those pictures? Fire, yo, yo, fire, I do it all, man, where, where would you take those photos? I took it, Delray, I went to Delray, it's like an artist alley. It's like a nice, it's like a nice little area. Like it's downtown Delaware? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. It's better, it's, del it's better like during the day though. I like during the day. But yeah. since I got this, well, you can do it like, at night is good too if you have the light. Like, yeah. I have the light, but still make it work. Yeah. But now, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Damn. All right. Well, um, you know, that's Nelson. That's the homie. Yeah. You know, um, I'll have his Instagram on the, on the link in the description. Um, and you can also check on what you know your Instagram handle on, on yeah, Instagram. Smooth as visuals. Yeah. yeah. So hey, follow all my boys, man. Wait, yeah. I want to shout out a couple people. <laughs> I want to shout out Thought of the Lord. The top of my head. Flipped up different. HPK Abby. And folks, um, I know a lot of people. ASAP CJ. Chopping management. Trying to think. Yeah, I fuck with y'all boys. Yeah. Yeah, man. You know, just look him up. Any any time, any place, you got it. You take care of it. You know. And again, also, I'll have the link in the description for CBD Greenheart as well. Uh, they have their 
online as well with e-commerce, so you can check them out, order online, or they also featured in a uh, place in Hollywood. Uh, if you just check their Instagram, I forgot what's it called. I'm so sorry, I, I forgot what's it called. Some village, something. I, you know what? <laughs> I'm not gonna try to attempt, but look them up. They have those products live on Hollywood. I actually went today. It was great. They have also, you know, there's small businesses there like jewelry and clothing and all of that. But when it comes to aromatherapy and all of that, you know, I am a huge advocate for that because I'm constantly stressed out, you know, whether if I'm making music, whether if I'm, well, not really music, I don't get stressed out music, but whether it's work, whether it's personal life, whether it's anything, really, stress is your greatest enemy. So please fight it. Don't embrace it. <laughs> check <laughs> CBD Green Heart. Well, check it out. <laughs> <laughs> and other than that, this is Tacos and Tracks. These are, I, I actually like these tacos. Honestly, they're kind of old, you know. I was fucking with the tacos. Yeah. <laughs> I was with the tacos. I don't know about mine, but the tacos was what's it, dude. I fucked with it. Yeah, you know. Tacos out, man. It's a little cold. I like my tacos fresh, like nice and hot, but it's still pretty good. You know, the rice and beans, I never get disappointed at. Uh, La Condesa, so you can find that as well in Boca. So um, mm -hmm. we'll see you next time and check me out. out.